James Varlack with Digital Learning back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips on how you can move from your data from Google Drive into OneDrive. Now, uh, just a reminder, in July 2022, we're gonna have a cap on our Google Drive storage, so it would be awesome if everybody can follow these tips and start moving their data from Google Drive into OneDrive. Now, to get started, first things first, we wanna make sure we're signed into our Google Drive and OneDrive accounts. So here you can see I'm signed into my Google Drive. I can see my files and folders. Now to go ahead and get over to OneDrive, uh, we have a, a link with our myapplications.microsoft.com. So here's myapplications.microsoft.com. And so here, if I go in and search for OneDrive, uh, I can find the OneDrive icon really quickly and I'll select it. And what that will do is that will open my um, OneDrive uh, cloud uh, account. So here it is. Those are my files and folders in OneDrive. So I've got uh, sign into Google Drive, sign into OneDrive. Now the next thing we want to do is come into Google Drive, go down here to the little storage icon. When I select on that icon, it'll show me my files in order from largest to smallest. And so it would be awesome if you could remove those files that you're no longer needing. If you need to check on a file, if you select it, um, you can uh, select the file and click over here on the little details icon, which is kind of looks like a little uh, like exclamation point pop up, um, like it's like a little menu icon. And so it'll tell you things in the folder, when it was created, who's the owner, and uh, when it was last modified. That can help you kind of vet those files. Now just remember, um, these files are, it's only going to transfer things that you're technically your own, you're the owner of. If you're something that's shared with you and it belongs to someone else, that it won't transfer those things. So what I can do here is if I don't need those files, again, I can move them into trash or I can only select the ones that I need. So if it's things like large media files, large videos, uh, classroom recordings, things you haven't used in a few years, just remember you can go ahead and trash those if you're not using them or if that process or uh, issue has already been taken care of. Uh, now here, if I need to select the files, if I hit Command A on a Mac, I can select all the files that I need, and then I can transfer all of those files over. On a Windows, it's gonna be Control A, um, and if, but for the purposes of this video, I don't need every single file, but if I were, and if the easiest thing to do for you would be to select them all, then you can start your download. Uh, and just remember, so when we start downloading these files, um, it's gonna download them in chunks called zip files. It's like little files the computer can work with easier, but it'll download them in chunks. The more data you have, the more chunks you're gonna have to upload it into OneDrive, okay? So I selected a bunch of files. It's held down one file, uh, held on the shift key and selected them all. So now what I'm gonna do is download them, okay? So I'm gonna right click and I get an option here for download. If it's not working for you there, if you come up here to these three dots, click the three dots, you'll get that option again, download. Okay, so I'm going to hit download. And so it's gonna start preparing my download right here. Okay, so it's gonna see like a little wheel, it's creating that zip file, and it's gonna, Google's gonna go ahead and make my uh, zip. And so from here, once that zip file is finished, and the reason mine is quickly done, just a reminder, I, I was able to remove a lot of data that I didn't need anymore. So that way it made that download a lot faster. Okay, so. Uh, the more data you have, again, the longer it'll take. Okay, so there's my little zip file. What I'm gonna do is click and drag it out here to the desktop. And so I've got this here on the desktop on my Mac. And so if you have the same thing on Windows, you'll drag it out to your desktop. And usually it shows up in your downloads folder. So if you can't find it or you're, you're missing it, just check there first. And so what I'm gonna do here is we need to extract these files because when I come over here to OneDrive, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and next I'm gonna create a folder. So I'm gonna create a folder uh, just for kind of like a good workflow. Uh, I'll name it Google Drive Transfer. That way if I ever have to find those files again, I, I know where to start, okay? So I'll click that folder. I'll wait till that's done, Google Drive Transfer. And so now I'm gonna come back here to this zip file where my data is. Now, to extract those files and get those files out, I need to double click on this folder. So if you're in Windows, you click Extract. On a Mac, if you just double tap that little file, what it'll do is it'll pull out all of that data. That's the hard, that's the, all those files. That's where they're located right there. And so what you can do then is we're gonna come into OneDrive. I'm gonna select the folder that I created, which is Google Drive Transfer. 
and I'm going to click this little drive icon, uh, that, that, that uh, file icon that we just unzipped, and I'm going to drag that into OneDrive. And so what it's going to do, it's going to start uploading my files. I can see I have a nice little wheel right here that will show me it's uploading the 20 items. And so if the more data you have, again, the longer it will take. And so uh, if you have a large amount of data also on your Google Drive download, you'll have uh, more than one zip file. You may have a multiple. So you have to do the same thing. Just double click it if you're on a Mac or extract on a Windows and then drive, drag in those files one at a time. Okay, so that should help you get started on transferring your files from Google Drive to OneDrive. Let us know if you have any questions.